Good morning, everybody. This is Connor from Futures Analytica bringing you guys another live futures trading session. We are, of course, going to be trading ES with the Polarity ATI. We're going to be starting the day out here in regression mode and arming it in both directions. We're going to be doing this because of this large amount of chop around this area, as well as the support level that's automatically marked by the Analytica chart for plus. You can see here we got the formation of this new derived zone up here. It's going to be resistive at this point, which is going to highlight that we're likely to get chop around this area. However, of course, we can't trade just on that. Um, we need to wait for the software to actually enter positions for us in that sense. So we're not going to be trying to bounce off of these lines here and take every single trade that we can get. We're going to wait for the software to do that for us. We just got filled into our first trade here. It's, it was a short trade and we end up winning that one pretty quickly. As you can see here that we're now at $408 on the day. Just got filled into a short position here. This is actually going to move us outside of that range that we had marked earlier with the closing of that. That makes sense. We end up winning that one as well, bring us up to 816. We have gotten another consecutive fill this time in the long direction. Uh, it bounced right off of this derived zone as well. Just won that one up to $1,200 on the day now. Looks like we've uh, kind of settled into a pattern in the markets here. We bounced off this range and we're likely going to bounce off this one. However, of course, again, we have to wait for the software to confirm that for us. You can see that we have now been marked to close on that point, so we no longer have this resistance level to trade off of. We're not going to switch out of regression mode just yet because we did poke right back down into it. So with the new polarity release in a few days, the models that you've used and built during R9B will no longer be usable, but uh, you will be getting a new prepackaged model. And if you have the same um, configuration in terms of uh, your indicators and whatnot, you can absolutely use that on training a new model but you shouldn't have to do that unless of course you want to train your own model. You can see here we got a new resistance line form here. How big of a role does CPU speed play when the market is really volatile? Because I've had some incidents in market replay where I feel like polarity wasn't so accurate on the entries. I have to say on market replay, you're limited to one tick a second. So you're not actually gonna be getting that accuracy you're looking for, but that doesn't actually have to do with polarity. That's unfortunately a ninja trader limitation. So um, with that being said, you will likely want to be trading on SIM during real time. Unfortunately, there isn't really a workaround for that for NinjaTrader to get that full speed market replay. With the Sierra Link server, you do have access to support for the polarity system, meaning that Sierra Link does work on the BPS uh, in its correct configuration. On the provided template, you're using the ES template because that should show the same amount of derived zones. If you if you selected the NQ template and you tried to load up ES, you are gonna see something different than me, but if you go to workspaces and switch to the ES template, you should get the same amount of derived zones that I do. You can see here, market is very, very flat. Um, even uh, that's why we're in regression mode at this point. Really slow market today, um, much different than when we were trading earlier. There we go, kind of a big candle here at 8.18. Maybe we'll start to get some volatility. Yeah, there we go. We just got filled into a long position here. Ended up winning that one. We're up to $2,000 on the day now. How beginner friendly is this system? So that really depends on you as a trader. Say that we've seen a around a two week training period. If you actually know how to trade futures, if you're someone who understands how the futures contracts works, then it's very beginner friendly. But I'd say the issue here specifically is how leveraged futures is. So if you don't have any experience trading futures, the leverage that futures offers and kind of forces you into can really be very unnerving for a lot of people. So I'd say that if you have experience in futures, it's um, very easy to pick up comparatively to learning a different strategy. However, of course, with futures trading, there are a lot of inherent risks um, involved in it. So make sure you know exactly what you're getting into in regards to the instruments you're trading. Uh, but in regards to the system itself, um, as you can see, I'm really, it's very basic, the inputs I'm doing. This is pretty obviously regression mode. You can see this is extreme chop at this point. Um, and then if it's trending, you switch to trend mode. Um, and you use the uh, visual aids that are automatically marked by the Analytica chart for plus for you to do that. There we go, just got filled into a long position. We're starting to pick up in volatility here. We're gonna be switching it into trend mode, at least if we win this trade. If we lose this trade, we're gonna switch it back to regression. We switched it to trend mode preemptively in preparation. I thought we were gonna win that trade quicker than we did, but you can see here we're back to our fill. So we'll switch it back to regression. It looks like we're probably gonna end up losing this one. We're very close to our stop loss here. Yeah, you can see that's our first loss of the day, which brings us down to 1750. So the way our trading system works is that the core principles are that we trade off of order flow imbalances, which are these highlighted numbers right here. 
These order flow imbalances are specifically aggressive market orders. These only show people who are prioritizing the speed at which they get filled over the price at which they get filled, meaning they've done a market order. So that's, a, that's obviously different from a limit order where you really are okay with waiting before you get into a trade because you want to get a guaranteed price to get filled at. So uh, market orders are, are only what's shown over here on these uh, numbers here. So um, with that being said, we trade uh, extreme, extreme increases in that. So you can see if there's a spike in these order flow imbalances around these levels, um, the system will, of course, it's, it's not as simple as if there's a big, big number here, it just enters. Um, there is, of course, the adversary detection calculation, which occurs. And then on top of that, um, over the past six months, we have introduced um, a machine learning component to it. So um, we have machine learning determining what exactly constitutes a good entry or a bad entry. So it's, it's pretty sophisticated at this point. It started out pretty simple, but um, since then we've added machine learning, it's become much more consistently profitable for me. But of course, we do have a actual introduction to strategy in, in the form of a video. It's the most popular video on our channel. Um, if you want to check that out, I believe it's in the description of this video. You can see we're really not getting um, almost any market movement. This is really what happens when we start a little bit later. Do any futures prop firms that you know of allow for hyper scalping algos like polarity? Yes, I actually have confirmed with both Top Step Trader, Apex Trader Funding, um, and earn to trade that our software is completely allowed on Apex, on all of those software or all those platforms. But um, I will say that you do want to avoid using the auto arm function on those, which just rearms the strategy automatically when it's outside of a predetermined range, um, because those could be considered uh, technically trading bots at this point, um, because you have to rearm the strategy manually after each trade. Um, if you're not using the auto arm feature, they can't call that actually a bot. So those are um, completely allowed on those um, strategies. Also, these features prop firms, they actually do accept sponsorships from other automated trading algorithms um, that are fully automated. So it makes me question um, truly how much they care about those rules. The, um, in my personal theory, you know, quote unquote off the record is that they're trying to avoid people who are doing news arbitrage and latency arbitrage to get big wins um, at the expense of the uh, futures prop firms, but um, absolutely, yeah. You know, guys, I think we're actually going to be calling it for the day here um, at forty-six hundred dollars. We had a pretty solid day. We've we've slowly climbed our way up. This is a little bit of a longer session due to this lower volatility. You can see we've been really hovering around the same price layer area. Just look at how atrocious this volatility is. But we've made a very slow downtrend there, and uh, thank you guys for tuning in today.